Today's video is on complex power series. In today's video, I am going to explain the most important theorem that is Steiner's theorem. So here I am going to explain the statement of it and give the proof of it. So here the statement of the Taylor's theorem states that let f of z be analytic at all points within a circle C with center at A and radius R. Then at each point z within C, f of z is given as f of A plus z minus A into f dash of A by 1 factorial plus z minus a square into f double dash of a by 2 factorial plus z minus a whole cube into f triple dash of a by 3 factorial plus and so on. See here, it is given that f of z be analytic at all points within the circle C. So this is the circle C with center, see here, with center at a. So a is the center point and r is the radius and this is the circle C. Here f of z is analytic within the circle C. Then this statement is the Tylor's theorem. So in order to prove this, so let us consider circle C. So this is the circle C with center z is equal to a and radius r. Then according to the integral formula, integral formula states that if f of z is analytic on and within C and z is equal to a is within C, then f of a is equal to 1 by 2 pi i integral c f of z by z minus a into dz. See here, so this is the circle c and this is a within c, within the curve c and this is radius r. Then according to our uh, Cauchy's integral formulae, f of a can be written as 1 by 2 pi i integral the closed area c into f of z dz by z minus a. So using this Cauchy's integral formula, I am going to derive the Taylor series. So according to the Cauchy's integral formula, we have f of a is equal to 1 by 2 pi a f of z dz by z minus a. Now in order to solve this, I am replacing. So replace z by t. So in place of z, I am writing t and in place of a, I am replacing z. Clear? So in order to solve this and this will be very easy. So see here, f of a. So here in place of a, I am going to write z. So this is f of z is equal to, this is 1 by 2 pi i integral c. In place of z, I am writing t. So this will be f of t dt by in place of z, I am going to write t and in place of a, this is z. Clear? In the next step c, so f of z is equal to 1 by 2 pi i integral c f of t dt by, so in between t and z, I am introducing c here. I am writing minus a and in order to balance, I am writing plus a and as usual, minus z. See here, in between t and z, I am adding and subtracting a. And the next step will be f of z is equal to, this is 1 by 2 pi i integral c. This is f of t dt by, so this can be written as t minus a. If I take minus common, this will be z minus a. And see the next step here is f of z is equal to, this is 1 by 2 pi i integral c f of t dt and c. In the next step, I am taking t minus a common. So, this will be 1 minus, this is z minus a by, this is t minus a. Clear? And in the next step, so this will be f of z is equal to, this is 1 by 2 pi i integral c, this is f of t dt by this is t minus a and I am taking this denominator to the numerator. Then this will be inverse z minus a by t minus a whole inverse. So according to our binomial expansion, so here according to our binomial expansion, so we have a formula that is 1 minus x whole inverse can be written as 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube plus and so on. So I am considering this 
as 1 minus x whole inverse. So, this whole term is x. And now, I am going to expand this one. So, if I am going to expand this one, see what happens. f of z is equal to, see here f of z is equal to, this is 1 by 2 pi i integral c, this is f of t dt by, this is t minus a, and see, 1 minus x whole inverse, so 1 minus x whole inverse, so this is x, so this will be 1 plus, this is z minus a by t minus a, so this is x, and next one, z minus a by t minus a whole square, plus this is z minus a by t minus a whole cube plus and so on. Clear? Plus and so on. And the next step here is I am going to send this t minus a inside. So this will be f of z is equal to this is 1 by 2 pi i integral c. This is f of t dt into. So if I send this one, so this will be t minus a. So, this is z minus a by, if I multiply these two, this will be t minus a whole square. So, if I send this one, so this will be z minus a whole square by t minus a square and power 1. So, this will be cube. And the next one is z minus a whole cube by, this is t minus a power 3 power 1. So, this will be power 4 plus and so on. Clear? Clear? And the next one, now I am going to give this integration to each and every term here. See, for this, if I give, then see what happens. f of z is equal to, so f of z is equal to, so the first thing is 1 by 2 pi i. This is f of t dt by first one is t minus a. And the next one here is, this is 1 by 2 pi i. So, this is f of t dt into this is z minus a by t minus a whole square and the next if i multiply with this this will be 1 by 2 pi i this is f of t into dt by this one is z minus a whole square by this is t minus a whole cube plus next one this is 1 by 2 pi i this is f of t dt by so, if I multiply, this will be z minus a whole cube by, so this is t minus a part 4. Clear? Now, see what happens here. In the next step, see here. So, this will be f of z is equal to f of z is equal to, see, first one is 1 by 2 pi i integral c. This is f of t dt by this one is t minus a. And the next one here is, if you observe this one, so this is integration with respect to t. So, z minus a is in respect to of this t. So, z minus a will be the constant. So, I am sending this z minus a outside into this is 1 by 2 pi i. This is f of t dt by, this can be written as t minus a can be written as t minus a power 1 plus 1. I will tell you why. Here see, I am writing the square as 1 plus 1. And the next one here is, this is 1 by 2 pi i. So, this is integration with respect to t. So, z minus a will be constant. So, I am sending this z minus a whole square outside and this will be f of t dt by this is t minus a whole cube. Cube, I am writing this as 2 plus 1. See, I will tell you why. And here, in this case also, this is 1 by 2 pi i. z minus a whole cube is a constant whole cube. And see here, this is f of t dt by this is t minus a whole power 4. I am writing this as 3 plus 1 plus and so on. Plus and so on. Clear? And see, now I am going to use Cauchy's integral formula. So, according to the Cauchy's integral formula, we have, according to the, see, 
This is Cauchy's integral formula. Cauchy's integral formula for nth derivative that is f power n of a by n factorial is equal to this is 1 by 2 pi i this will be f of z dz by this is z minus a power n plus 1. So we have t here f of t dt. See here we have f of z dz. So I am replacing z by t in order to get a formula. Then this will be f power n of a by n factorial is equal to this is 1 by 2 pi i. See here this will be f of t by dt and in place of z I am writing t. So this will be t minus a power n plus 1. Now for each and everything. So what is there here? See here first one is f of z is equal to see f of z is equal to 1 by 2 pi i f of t dt by t minus a is nothing but our Cauchy's integral formula. So f of z will be, so f of z will be f of a plus and the next thing here is this is z minus a is a constant. So I am writing z minus a and if I compare with this, so this is 1 by 2 pi i here also see 1 by 2 pi i. And this is f of t dt. And here also f of t dt. Here t minus a power n plus 1. See here this is n plus 1. So in place of n we have 1. See here the n value here is 1. And the formula here is the n, f power n of a by n factorial. So in order to, so in order to write this I am putting in this Cauchy's integral formula. So this will be f power 1. So n value is 1 by 1 factorial plus and see here if you observe this one z minus a whole square is a constant. I am writing and if I compare with this so this is 1 by 2 pi i integral f of t dt here also integral f of t dt by t minus a power n plus 1. So here the n value is when you compare n value is equal to 2 here. So in order to write this I am writing these. So I am putting n is equal to 2. So this which is nothing but the second derivative of a by. So this is 2 factorial. So this is multiplication. And the next one here is. So what it is z minus a whole cube. So this is z minus a whole cube into. So this is 1 by 2 pi i integral f of t dt by t minus a power n plus 1. Here the n value is equal to 3. So here the n value is 3. So this is nothing but the third derivative of a by n factorial. n value is 3 plus and so on. So if you observe. So this is nothing but. So this is nothing but f of z is equal to. This is f of a plus z minus a by f dash of a by 1 factorial plus z minus a whole square by f double derivative of a by 2 factorial plus z minus a whole cube by f triple derivative of a by 3 factorial plus and so on which is nothing but the Taylor's theorem. So which is nothing but the Taylor's theorem. So I will show you a special case here. So in the special case put a is equal to 0. So in this put a is equal to 0. In the Taylor's theorem if you keep a is equal to 0 and see what happens f of z is equal to. So in place of a if I keep 0 this will be f of 0. In place of a if I keep 0 this will be z into f dash of 0 by 1 factorial and so if if you keep a is equal to 0, this will be z squared by 2 factorial into f double derivative of 0 plus and the next one, if you keep a is equal to 0, this will be z cube by 3 factorial into f triple dash of 0 and f power 4 by 4 factorial into f fourth derivative of 0 plus and so on. So this is nothing but McLaren's theorem. So this is nothing but McLaren's theorem. 
so this is how we have to solve and let me explain you and this is also very very important and very very easy so there is only one theorem that is cauchy's integral theorem so according to the taylor's the theorem so what is given f of z be analytic at all points within the circle c with center a and radius r then at each point z within c this is the formula f of z is equal to f of a plus z minus a into f dash of a by 1 factorial plus z minus a whole square by f double dash of a by 2 factorial plus and so on so in the proof consider a circle c with center z is equal to a and radius r according to our cautious integral formulae so according to the cautious integral formulae if f of z is analytic within the circle c and z is equal to a is within c then f of a is equal to 1 by 2 pi i integral c f of z by z minus a into dz so in order to solve this please replace z by so we have to replace z by t and a by z in the cautious integral formula i have replaced z by t and a by z and i have introduced minus a and plus a so i have taken t minus a common and this is z minus a after taking z minus a common from this so this is 1 minus z minus a by t minus a and after sending this to the numerator and expanding in the binomial expansion so after expanding up, um, until three parts so and after multiplying each and every term with t minus a so this is the thing happen and if i send this integration to each and every term plus and so on so this is plus and so on and see and after that what i have done so t minus a whole square can be written as 1 plus 1 and t minus a whole cube i have written as 2 plus 1 power 4 can be written as 3 plus 1 so using the nth derivative of Cauchy's integral formula. So this is the formula. And in our formula we have t. In place of z I have replaced t. And using this formula. So this is nothing but. The first one is nothing but. According to the Cauchy's integral theorem. It is f of a. And the next one z minus a is a constant. And this is nothing but f dash of a by 1 factorial. And z minus a whole square. It is again a constant. So this is f double dash of a by 2 factorial z minus a whole cube by f triple dash of a by 3 factorial so this is nothing but the Taylor's theorem so here is a special case if you put a is equal to 0 in this and this will be the McLaren's theorem thank you so much for watching hope you all guys understand if you really understand please pass it on to your friends and this is the most important theorem and definitely you can score more and i'll be uploading so many questions problems related to this theorem in my upcoming videos please don't miss this miss it please watch the playlist for more videos thank you so much